Hello everyone and welcome to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Carberg and today we are going to be having a look at the Russell 2000 index. The Russell 2000 index is one that is a collection of small cap or emerging companies within the USA um, and it tracks that those 2000 companies um, their performance and is able to be invested and traded in. Now the importance of the Russell 2000 is not just as an index that can be traded or invested but it also helps us understand the current sentiment related towards things like inflation and a recession. And this is because during periods of hyperinflation where the bank is there's the the central banks across the world are required to lower interest rates or rather increase interest rates. This has a large effect on the emerging companies. So for instance, when the Fed decides to increase interest rates, it has a disproportional effect on the companies that are emerging or that are small cap companies. However, what we can see in this chart in recent times when we're having a look at the weekly chart of the Russell 2000 is that since really uh, towards the end of last year, we had this top reached near um, 2,400 points and we've been in this solid downtrend since then, um, really bottoming, you know, uh, so far on the 6th of June. However, what we can see as we zoom in um, is that we're starting to see a little bit of positivity come back into the the Russell or um, some positive sentiment. And we notice this weekly candle, which of course is not yet finished, is just jutting outside this trend line. And that's a really positive sign. Um, as we put in our support and resistance levels, we've obviously hit a major zone of support. Um, sorry, just bear with me. We've hit a major zone of support at 1600 or 1660, 670. Um, and that next kind of level that we would be looking at is the 1900 level. So that's where really where we're looking at for this, um, for the next target. However, we may see it move a little bit faster because, of course, um, during you know downtrends, we have these kind of emotional, the FOMO can kind of reach quite high levels. Um, or that next target may also be the 50 period moving average. As we have a look at the 200 period moving average, we can also see that we've, we've breached that on the downside and we've been able to reclaim it on the buy side. So that's another positive signal showing us that perhaps we're getting close to this bottom. And then as we move down to the daily chart, we can also see that we've got this little coil happening um, and a base being being built, and then we've broken above that. So that next target, as I said, about 1900 level is looking quite attractive. And if we can break above there, then you know any kind of point at 21, 2100 points will be a potential target.